What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. Today we're discussing a brand new exploit that was seemingly released and we're going to take a look at the uh, CVE, the vulnerability itself. It's for iOS of course, it might be usable for jailbreak purposes. So one of you told me about it in a comment on Twitter. He said, have you seen this repo, which is a GitHub repo? What do you think about it, scam or not? So if you go ahead in here, uh, it says CVE 2025-24085. It details the CVE ID, the impact, and the fact that it's critical. It says a malicious application that can elevate privileges. It could possibly be good for jailbreak purposes. Then it says this issue has been actively exploited against versions of iOS before 17.2. The vulnerability can be used to gain higher level access to the system which leads to unauthorized control, data theft or system compromise. There is even an exploit download button over here. Before we get into it, this video is brought to you by 8ksec. They teach you in their course how to find iOS vulnerabilities, how to build your own exploits and of course how to make a jailbreak. They do have the uh, offensive iOS internals course over here which goes in depth on all security techniques on iOS like sandboxing and code signing and they get into each jailbreak and how they work and whatever. So definitely check it out below. Right, so thank you to the person who tweeted this to me. This is actually quite interesting. We're going to take a look at it. Now, I have a couple of suspicions for this particular post in here, for this particular repo. First of all, if you go ahead on the security content of iOS 18.3, which patches that vulnerability, the CVE is indeed real. It's in core media. It says impact a malicious application may be able to elevate privileges. And Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited against versions of iOS before 17.2. It's a use after free by the looks of it. So these are usually very good vulnerabilities for jailbreak purposes. So yes, the vulnerability itself is legitimate. It does exist. It is actually possible to use this very likely for jailbreak purposes, maybe not alone, because you do need to chain them these days. There are multiple security techniques that need to be bypassed. However, the vulnerability is real. We got that out of the way. It is a real vulnerability, it's not fake. But then the account that posted this has only been in existence for a couple of days. You can see they joined GitHub a couple of days ago, like three days ago. They don't have any public repositories besides this vulnerability over here. And there is no code whatsoever, not even a proof of concept not an exploit. I'm not asking for an exploit. Just a proof of concept that you can show me that the vulnerability does exist on iOS and it, I don't know, crashes the device or something. That would have been sufficient to prove that you do have, in fact, the code for this vulnerability. But there's nothing here. There is, however, a contact link or rather an email. But then you have the exploit download button, which if you click, it tells you to buy it from here, satoshidisk.com with Bitcoin. And they ask about $233 US dollars and you get three files, which would be other.zip, presumably containing the exploit itself, proof.mp4, and readme.txt, which presumably is the same readme from here. This does seem to be getting some traffic. However, I would not buy it. It's the first time I see a vulnerability being publicly listed for Bitcoin, you know, that you can buy an exploit for iOS for Bitcoin. And it's not even a zero day. It's been patched and it's been patched in iOS 18.3 by the looks of it. And while this vulnerability could definitely be used in a jailbreak context because of what it is, it's very likely not available in here. I don't know. It, it doesn't seem legit to me asking for Bitcoin for a vulnerability. And then there's no information that this is the real user who found it. This account's name is not present in the CVE. If you take a look in here on Core Media, they are not credited in here. It's just CVE 2025-24085. Nobody is being thanked in here or, you know, credited or just acknowledged by Apple. While other vulnerabilities, you can see they have people who have found them, you know, handles on Twitter and stuff like that. So you can easily cross-reference the data and see, yeah, that's the account that found it. Apple credited them. So if they are selling the vulnerability for Bitcoin, at least I know that I'm buying from the real person who has reported the vulnerability to Apple. It's their choice if they want to sell the exploit. But in this case, there is just no way to tell if this account here is the real person who has reported reported the vulnerability and it just looks shady as hell. So if you are planning to buy this, uh, thinking you can make a jailbreak or maybe use this for jailbreak purposes, please don't. There is zero confirmation that this account is indeed selling the vulnerability. We don't know what these files contain, even if you are buying them, even if you are getting them. And while the vulnerability itself is definitely legit and even powerful, the account might not be. They might just be hijacking the vulnerability, pretending to have it just to grab your money. They say here the exploit availability is not public, only private. So yeah, I would definitely stay away. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Peace out.